What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at math and JavaScript. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at math and JavaScript. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we looked at variables for JavaScript. In this video, we're going to look at math very quickly. Now, math in JavaScript is super, super simple. And let's just dive right into it. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this JavaScript series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So basically, I've got the code from our last video. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. And I've just renamed this math.html, and I've taken out most of the stuff. But all the HTML stuff is the same. So math in JavaScript is super, super simple. You just use these arithmetic operators. You have plus, minus, multiplication, division, exponents, and modulus. And we'll talk about PEMDAS in just a second. So with JavaScript, you can use numbers, you can use variables, it really doesn't matter. So we can come down here and we can say, uh, you know, four plus one, very simple. This will just print this out to the screen where this used to be. If we save this, head over to our web browser and run this math.html file and hit reload, boom, we just get five. Super, super simple. So like I said, you could also use variables. So let's go, uh, let my num one equals four, let my num two equals, I don't know, one, and then let's my num three equals, and we could do any sort of math we want. So we can go my num one plus, or we could say, let's try it minus this time. Very exciting, my num two. And then down here, we could just print out my num three. There we go. So four minus one, we would expect this to spit out three on the screen. Come back over here, hit reload, and boom, we get three. So super simple. And like I said, to use math, we just use our math operators, our arithmetic operators, and they are plus, minus, multiply, uh, divide, exponents, and modulus. So let's just go through all these very, very quickly. Let's change this to 10 and two. So here we can say my num one times my num two. So this should be what, 20, right? So come back over here, boom, 20, super easy. We can do division. So that's just the forward slash. So 10 divided by two should be five, right? Head back over here, five. Now notice this, if we change this around a little bit to say three, right? So this is gonna be three point something because 10 is not divisible by three in an, in an even way, right? So what does JavaScript do when something like that happens, when there's, you know, uh, decimals or whatever. In a lot of programming languages, you have to define whether a thing is a decimal or a whole number, an integer. With JavaScript, we could just run this, and boom, we get 3.33333. So it converts the number into a decimal, and you're good to go. So super easy. One of the things that some people may not have seen before is exponents. Some programming languages use, like, the caret, this little guy, but... Many of them also use just double multiplication for exponents. So here, if we change this to two and two, so this would be two to the second power or two to the second power, or in other words, two times two, right? So two to the second power should be, what, four? Come back over here, boom, four. If we change this around a little bit and let's have this to the third power, so now it would be like two times two times two, right? Two times two is four times two is eight. So the exponent of that should be eight, hit reload, boom, eight. So very cool and very easy. Now, the one thing that really kind of throws people is the modulus. A lot of people have not heard of a modulus. So let's go 10 and three again. And the modulus does division and then it returns the remainder. So 10 divided by three is three, three times three is nine with one left over. The remainder is one. So the modulus will return that one. So this is very cool for all kinds of different reasons that we'll get into later. I bet you'll always use modulus and programming for different things, and boom, you'll see, sure enough, one. So that's math, super simple. The other thing I want to talk about is PEMDAS, and this is order of operations. So if we come down here, and let's just sort of play around here. Let's keep this simple. We won't even use variables. Let's just say two um, times three plus five. 
So what do you think this is going to be? Is this going to be three plus five is eight? Or is it going to be two times three is six plus five, 11? What's going to go on here? Well, JavaScript, like everything else in the world, uses order of operations in math. And I learned order of operations by this little thing called PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication. I misspelled PEMDAS. PEM, there we go. PEMDAS. <laughs> uh, so again, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So here we start out with the P. You do that first. So in this case, P is parentheses. So this is going to be three plus five is eight times two is 16. So let's go ahead and run this and see. And sure enough, 16. And this gets confusing to a lot of people. So for instance, if we take this out, what's it going to be? Is it still going to be 16? Well, now the order of operations is PEM. The first one we see is multiplication. So it's going to be two times three is six plus five is 11. So if we save this and hit reload, it's not going to be 16 anymore. It's going to be 11. So uh, how things are structured in JavaScript or really in just any sort of math thing always goes to the math order of operations. I learned this in like grade school when I was very, very young. You probably did too. You probably forgot it. You see these things on Facebook all the time where people put simple math problems and they say, what's the answer? And there's like a wild debate and everyone gets very angry. No, it's 16. No, it's 11. You don't know anything. And of course, people don't know math and they don't know the order of operations or PEMDAS. But just keep in mind, PEMDAS or order of operations does hold true in JavaScript as it does in all math. And just sort of keep that in mind. So that's very simple math in JavaScript. Really, it's not any more complicated than that. Just remember addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, and modulus. And remember, you can do these things to math. If this was like, you know, John or something, you're going to get something completely different here. Uh, you know, it has to be actual numbers without quotation marks and things like that. We talked about that a little bit in the last video. So check that out if you didn't see it. And that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Konami.com, and I'll see you in the next video.